In this lecture, we will learn about some important methods discard, remove, pop, and clear. This video is brought to you by Abhi Pies Academy. First, I will talk about discard method. I am giving the command using discard method. Okay, how to use it? Actually, discard method is used to delete an element in a set. How do we do it? Uh, first, let me create a set with the name values. Values is equal to, as you know, a set can also be created with the set method. So, I am using set method and I have uh, created a defined a set with the value 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. Now, what I would write is values, which is the name of the set dot discard and within parentheses as an argument, I would give the element to be deleted, right? Then I am going to print the sets to see whether this particular element has been deleted or not, right? So when I would write discard 30, the 30 value will be deleted. So I have executed this program and yes, as you can see in the output, uh, all the values except 30 are getting printed. Why? Because it has been discarded. So discard method is used to delete a particular element. I will show you a very important thing. Now this time over I have deliberately given a value which is not present in the set that is 37. 37 is not in the set. Now we will see what happens. Okay. I am going to execute the program. And as you can see, there was no error. There was no error. The set was shown as it is without any error message. Now we come to a method called remove. So I'm going to give the command using remove method. Now see, remove method is almost the same as the discard method. But the difference is if we try to delete, if we try to remove, a value which is not present in the set it is going to throw an error so values dot remove 50 now i have written 50 first i will show you how to remove the value so 50 is present in our set as you can see so uh, let me uh, put these uh, statement print values after discarding uh, 37 uh, let me put it into comments I have executed the program as you can see 50 has been removed 50 has been removed so far so good so there seems to be no difference between discard and remove but now I will show you the difference now what I am going to do is I am going to give a value say uh, uh, say 25 and as you can see 25 does not happen to be present in the set now we will see that an error will occur so I'm going to execute this, run, and yes, yeah, you can see this is uh, uh, an error has occurred because 25 was not present in the set and we tried to remove it using the remove method. So that is the basic difference between discard and remove, right? Now I am going to show you another method which is... Uh, Mm, which is pop method now see using pop method so uh, see what happens in pop method is it deletes an element it removes an element but which one a random one any it will pick any random number in the set and delete it right so values dot pop it is going to delete an element any element any random element from the set so let me execute the program press the right mouse button on the program click on this run 20 40 10 30 as you can see it has uh, deleted the element 50 right so any random element will be deleted using this pop method uh, because we are done with these uh, methods i am putting them into comments so now I am going to show you this clear method which is uh, used to clear the whole set to 
remove all the elements of the set. So I would write name of the set that is values, values dot clear. Now what it is going to do is it will remove, it will delete the whole set. Okay. So after using clear method, I am going to print the set so that we can see that all the elements in the set, they have been deleted. Okay. So I have uh, executed the program as you can see in the output is it, it is showing set and empty parenthesis, which is an indication that the set has been completely deleted. There are no elements left in the set. 